This video is about atrial flutter. Atrial flutter is basically a flutter wave that happens in the atrium. How do flutter waves happen? Basically, there is a circuit that goes around in the right atrium. It can go this way or it can go this way. So they might call it clockwise or counterclockwise. Some people even call it anticlockwise. It doesn't matter. For this level, you're not going to be asked to know whether this patient has clockwise or anticlockwise. But what you have to know is that the circuit is happening in the right atrium. And the circuit is so fast to the fact that a speed is 300 beats per minute. So the speed of the circuit in the atrium is 300 beats per minute. But unfortunately, the AV node cannot take that. It's too fast for it. So what's going to happen? There will be a couple of circuits. And then when the AV node is ready, it's going to say, OK, I can pass this electricity. And according to the AV node, you're going to see if there's a QRS or not. So how to detect that? You're going to look at the EKG and you will see flutter waves going like that. Okay. If the AV node conducts the electricity every three beats, you're going to see one, two, three beats, and then you're going to see a QRS come in. One, two, three, QRS come in. While if the QRS, if the AV node is slick, what I mean by slick, that it makes electricity pass by quickly, you might even see it every two atrial flutters. So one, two, and then you're going to see QRS, one, two. In this case, the patient will be really symptomatic. Chest pain, shortness of breath, palpitations, all of that. All right. In rare cases, this might be one to one, where you would find one flutter wave and a QRS. In this case, the patient might actually have hypotension and might need um, a shock. If the patient has good AV nodal blockade and the AV node is very slow, it's not letting the electricity pass through, you might actually see four or five to one. Four or five to one means that there are one, two, three, and four, and then QRS. Rarely, those patients are symptomatic. Usually, they don't have any symptoms. And they might even present in your clinic without any problems. So basically, whenever you hear two to one, three to one, we're talking about flutter waves in relation to the ventricular wave. Let's look at this example. This is an example of atrial flutter. The best leads to see the flutter waves are lead number two and also AVR. As you can see, we have the arrows over here that show those saw tooth. They call them saw tooth. And you're going to see it in your exam. Those are flutter waves. In the image, saw tooth actually corresponds to the circuit over here. And whenever you see a QRS, it's when the AV node lets in the electricity to be passed to the ventricles. In this case, the heart rate is about, the ventricular heart rate is about 100 beats per minute. The atrial uh, rate is always 300. So it's as if I'm telling you for every three atrial flutters, there is one ventricular conduction. So this corresponds to three to one. One question that students usually ask is, how can I know if it's three to one, two to one, four to one? I really don't know what to do. I'm going to tell you something. The atrial speed is always 300. The ventricular speed is variable. If you see the heart rate, the ventricular heart rate is about 100, you got to know this is 3 to 1. If you see the rate 
as 150. This means that the patient is in 2 to 1. If the heart rate is 75, this is 4 to 1. 60, this is 5 to 1. So whatever the speed of the ventricle is, we don't care. The speed of the atrium is going to remain 300 beats per minute. But what uh, corresponds to the ventricular rate is actually the AV node. It's like the policeman over there making traffic either go fast or go slow. Some people would tell you, okay, I'm going to count how many flutter waves I have. And sometimes it's difficult, but let me tell you, there is actually a flutter wave over here that is over the QRS. So this is the flutter wave that you're missing. This is number one, this is number two, and if you look on this complex, it's actually a flutter wave on top of a QRS, and that's why 